and I spent $900 on this gypsy fortune teller to try to restore my relationship with Dennis Prager that I blew up for the sake of my own blogging to get away from the impossible tension that came with both venerating Dennis Prager and writing a blog about the pornography industry. So the first time I go to this gypsy fortune teller, I drop about $50 on her. They were very smart. She started me off, oh, you know, I'll read your fortune for $5. But then she had all these add-ons. She upsold me on various add-ons to her fortune telling. And so I think I dropped $50 on her that first time. And I walk home. And for the first and only time in my life, I came home and I found an email from Dennis Prager there was not a reply to an email I'd sent to him. So the only time in my life that I received an unsolicited email from Dennis Prager was after I dropped $50 on this gypsy fortune teller. And the email quoted something that I'd just written about two hours before about how I'd come home from the hospital after being held in overnight at the hospital after my wrist surgery. What was the reason I was held in overnight? Because I had a panic attack. As I came out of surgery, I just felt so alone because I'd walked to the hospital, right? No one had taken me to the hospital and no one was picking me up at the hospital. And I felt so alone and I felt so broken and I was so uncomfortable with the direction of my life. I felt like I was betraying everything good that I'd ever stood for. I, I felt like I was just running in a self-destructive downward spiral, that I was stuck in some negative trends in my life that I could not surmount. I felt absolutely alone. I'd lost all my friends in Los Angeles. I'd largely alienated myself from my family. My life was just going, going down, 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 down. My life was going to hell. And so I had, I had blogged what a comfort it was to come out of surgery, have them finally release me the next day and get home and to be able to turn on Dennis Prager's radio show. So even though I completely alienated myself from Dennis Prager, any normal person would look at what I was doing by my blogging about him against his wishes as the grossest betrayal. But here I blog what a comfort I find it is to you know, go through surgery and come out of it, get home, and to listen to Dennis Prager. And Dennis Prager quoted my blog post in his unsolicited email to me after I visited the gypsy fortune teller. And then he wrote, I hope you remember that the next time comma, for whatever reason, comma, you want to hurt 